Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel and today as promised I wanted to show you the cards that I made with the embellishments from embellishments on the 11th. As you know I did dragonflies from dragonfly dreams and I went ahead and made cards with them. So here's an example. This is the black dragonfly. And now let me show you how I did these. This is a Cattails Intricate Die from Spellbinders. And as I'll show you, I made several different colors. The stencil, this is how I made the stencil. I took an oval die and cut this out of it and then I just put this over a piece of five and a quarter by four paper and I washi taped it down and then I used my distress inks and I did use some Stampin' Up ink also in my finger daubers and then for the inside I went ahead and used this stamp I garden green and I stamped off on the inside so this is the first one I just showed you this is the really pretty nappy paper that I got from scrapbook.com and if you notice here I think this is really cool how just the action of my rubbing made this grass look like uh, the seed pods of mature grass. Isn't that cool? And so I went ahead and did black for the cattails because this is kind of a twilight scene. Thinking of you in Night of Navy. And then I went ahead and just stamped off on this. This card base is from some that I bought from Stepping Up. And I resolved to add this to my crafty goal. Use up the store-bought card bases because I have a whole basket full. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And here is the pink dragonfly. But made hearts. This is from Rubber Stamp Tapestry. And then the green. Then I just stamp this. I'll stamp them right before I send them, depending on the occasion. Now here's another store-bought card base I needed to use. And I happened to find this card mat that I thought was perfect. The green. And then again, the green here. This is the light blue. This was the first one I made, actually. This was my prototype when I first got the idea. Happy birthday. Enjoy your special day. And the stamped off. Are those daisies or echinacea? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? And there's another pink one, thinking of you. And several hearts. And there's another black one. These can be, um, I made some of each. Some that could be considered feminine and others that could be considered masculine. Brown. And then I'm going to stamp directly on here. I didn't do it for some reason. But I'm going to stamp that piece. That. And here's another. You are amazing. And I stamp that directly because it's I'm going to stamp it in black and so that's going to be fine. And here's a 5x7 black card base that I matted with this real pretty turquoise that I just have in my stash. I don't know what color it is. And the two hearts there and I did make a boo-boo on the other heart so I put just stuck that there. And 
this is when the bright lagoon color that I got from scrapbook.com two hearts and then the garden green and then last but not least this is another five by seven black card base the black dragonfly the twilight look and then again how it looks like the seed pods of mature grass and then the stamped off image Thank you for joining me. These were really fun. A little intricate, but fun. I love dragonflies. And a lot of you have said that you do too. So have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.